Hi, I'm Dumape, the guy who helps musicians to build an online presence. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your music on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and other digital distribution platforms. And I'm pretty excited about this because you don't even need a record deal for you to get this right. So let's jump right into this. Now, to make the process quick and easy, there are three important things that you need to have in place. These are guidelines that will ensure that your music is approved by 100 plus digital distribution platforms. If you're watching this tutorial on my website, you can download a free checklist like this in the box below this video. You can use it as a guide when you're ready to release new music. Now, let's take a look at the guidelines. The first thing you will need is your artwork. If you don't have a huge budget, I recommend that you check out 99designs or Fiverr for freelance graphic designers who can hook you up with really, really, really dope artwork. Alternatively, if you want to do it yourself, check out PicMonkey or Canva to design your artwork online. I have all the links to everything that I just mentioned in the free downloads below this video so you don't have to worry about taking notes. Now, without further ado, here are the guidelines for your artwork. You need to ensure that it is in JPEG or GIF format. It should be a square at least 1600 by 1600 pixels. It should not be blurry or pixelated. The title and the artist's name on the artwork must match what is on the song. Don't forget to credit the featured artist if you have any. And finally, don't put any social media links or contact information on your artwork. I know it looks kind of lame, but this is what I could come up with for this tutorial. The second thing is the formatting of your music. These are the guidelines that should be followed by the person who masters your music. If you don't have someone to master your music, there are two options that I have used in the past. One is to go to Fiverr and the other is Universal Music's mastering services. They're surprisingly cheaper than you would expect actually. Again, I have the links in the bonus downloads that you can get below this video. So now here are the guidelines for the formatting of your song. It must be in MP3 format. The sample size must be 16 bit. The sample rate must be 44.1 kilohertz. The bit rate must be 1411 kilobytes per second. And the most important thing is that you need to own the rights to the music. This is very important. Now, the last thing is to add metadata or ID3 tags to your music. I created a short video tutorial that will show you exactly how to do this. You will find it over at recorddealonline.com forward slash ID3 tags. Okay, cool. Now you should be ready to upload your music. But the question is where? Well, there are a lot of companies called digital music aggregators. These companies have good relationships with platforms that you want your music to be distributed on. These companies help you to get your music on iTunes, Deezer, Tidal, Spotify, Google Play, and other platforms. Now, there are only three that I recommend because of my experience with them over the last couple of years, and they are TuneCore, City Baby, and the new kid on the block, Distro Kid. I love these three because of their super quick lead times. Usually your music can be up everywhere within a couple of days. And these companies have a great reporting interface for you to see how your music is selling. And they will pay you for the sales you make across all the platforms they get your music on. Unfortunately, however, you have to pick one. And to help you do that, go check out a very detailed review by Ari Herstand, who is a dude that I respect a lot when it comes to anything music related. Go to recorddealonline.com forward slash Ari. This will redirect you to the super cool review that he updates constantly as these companies change their policies or add new features. For the purpose of this tutorial, I went with TuneCore because of the great support team and the user-friendly interface. Go to recorddealonline.com forward slash TuneCo and you will be redirected to their homepage. From here, if you've gone through all the guidelines, uploading your music should be quick and easy, so I'm just going to run through this step quickly and speed up certain parts of the screencast. Firstly, you will need to create an account. To do that, click on Get Started and fill in your information. Click on create an account and you will receive an, a confirmation email which will contain a link to confirm that you want to create an account. 
This will send you to the login page where you will have to log in with the information you provided when you created your account. The first thing I would suggest you do is go through your account settings and set up your payment preferences. Because it is not always easy to get the money that you make online, I included instructions along with the bonus downloads below this video to help you get the money you make almost anywhere in the world. Now moving right along. For this tutorial, we are going to upload a single. So under music distribution, select single by clicking the start here button. From here, you will fill in the information of your single. And here's a helpful tip. Don't add weird symbols or add signs, hashtags or asterisks because it will take your music longer to be approved for digital distribution. So save yourself the hassle. Next, choose the release date. To give yourself enough time to create buzz, I would suggest that you give yourself at least three to four weeks. Then fill in your label name. If you're not signed to anyone, this can be anything, perhaps the name of your own record company. From here, leave the UPC and ISRC codes open. They will be generated automatically for you. And then fill in your location and click on create my single. Next, you get to select where your music is to be distributed. Because TuneCore is constantly updating the platforms they can get your music on, I would suggest that you tick on Store Automator so that your music is distributed on new platforms automatically. You can scroll down to see the current platforms and select whichever ones suit your distribution strategy. For this tutorial, I will select all of them and click on Save. Next will be the uploading of your artwork, which should be easy. And then the uploading of your music, which should also be easy and straightforward. Next, select how long you want your music to be distributed for. Click on Add to Cart, go to Checkout and select your payment method, whether it's PayPal or your credit card or your check debit card. And honestly, this is not expensive at all. It's probably the price of a t-shirt. And I believe that as an indie artist, the sacrifices that you have to make to put yourself out there and paying for your own distribution just gives you control and it's a worthwhile investment. Now, if you like this video, please share it with your friends on your social media accounts by clicking the share buttons to help me spread the word. Also, subscribe to my newsletter for free email updates of my future video tutorials here. And as a way to say thank you, I will send you this free PDF report which reveals the top 10 DIY internet marketing tools for musicians. Thanks for watching and remember, you don't need a record deal for your music to be heard. Peace.